Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us as we pay a special tribute to Penny Marshall. And you mentioned special because we're standing in a special place right in front of stage 15. It is just a short walk from our set, but this is where Penny made her last TV appearance on the rebooted version of The Odd Couple. And E.G. was there, of course. In fact, yeah. we went back and counted how many times we were with Penny over the years. And you're not going to believe this, but astounding. 109 times. So we got to know her very well. She shared with us yeah. her personal triumphs, but also her private struggles. And you know what? Through it all, Penny stayed just as feisty and strong as her TV alter ego, Laverne DeFazio. Crap happens in life. You got to deal with it. Penny wasn't just a fighter, but a force to be reckoned with. When E.T. sat down with Penny in 2012, she was in remission after a very public battle with lung cancer that spread to her brain. She got very fired up talking about the tabloid reports. Your battle with cancer yes. has been very public. Because the public is a stupid people, because the rags write about it, and they get it wrong. And they have me dying every three months still, and I'm fine. She was a regular person who just happened to become famous. And I don't think she ever got, forgot where she came from. Today, E.T. was with her friend and former TV love interest, Jay Leno, who shared his memories of their time together on Laverne and Shirley. Hey, Shirley, why don't you split? What? And leave Laverne unchaperoned? Oh, no. You know, I was a new comedian. It was probably the height of her stardom with Laverne and Shirley. They were huge stars. She was so kind and nice to me. It came as such a shock. It really was. One thing everyone in Hollywood knew about Penny, family came first. Her own brother, the late Gary Marshall, launched her career in the 1970s series, The Odd Couple. Mr. Unger, I am not slumping. I wouldn't have a career if it wasn't for my brother, so I, t I thank my brother. I always thought he was being nice to me. He's just being nice because I'm a sister, and he, he told me, he said, nobody's that nice. I'm not that nice. Nice to thank see you. you. E.T.'s last sit down with Penny was in 2016. Gary's son, Scott, conducted the interview. What did Gary mean to you? He gave me a life. He was my older brother. He was great. And you are a pest. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Laverne that we love, the feisty Laverne coming out of Penny there.